we're going to be creating and solving percent equations. And when we do, there's some mathematical terminology that we can look for that will help us set up our equations. The percent is usually represented as a decimal value. Multiplication is usually uh, noticed when we see the word of. Anything we're looking for that we don't know is usually replaced by the variable x. And then equals is usually a sign that we use to replace the word is. So let's see how that works with these equations below. What is 12% of 20? So right away I see a what and that gives me an unknown, that's x. My is, that's going to be an equals. 12% as a decimal, we divide by 100, so that's 0.12 of is times 20. So if I multiply 0.12 times 20, I get x equals 2.4. Well, let's see if this number makes sense. 10% of 20 would be 2, 1 tenth of 2. Excuse me, 1 tenth of 20 would be 2. 12% is a little bit bigger, that's 2.4. So that makes sense. So when you get your numbers, be sure that they make some kind of rough sense uh, as a result. Looking at part B, again we have what that's going to be an x, is equals 30.45% as a decimal is 0 0.3045, we're dividing 30.45 by 100, of is times, and 450 is our number. Now, 30.45% is about a third, so we're going to expect something around 120, 130 as a result. Sure enough, when we multiply 0 0.3045 times 450, we get 137.03 if we round to the second decimal place. So again, make sure that these numbers make sense. Check it back in the original and just make sure that it makes some kind of sense. Part C, 12%, so let's write that as a decimal, 0 0.12, we're dividing 12 by 100, of is times, 600 is just 600, is is equals, and then what number? That's x. So 12% of 600 is going to be a little bigger than 10% of 600, which would be 60. So 0.12 times 600 is 72 equals x, and this number makes sense. Part D, what number is 0.5% of 8? Well, if I had 50% of 8, that would be half of 8, which would be 4. So this number is 100 times smaller than that. So let's see if we get something that has a 4 in it. So what number x is is equals 0.5%. I need to divide that by 100, so that's 0.005 times, that's my of, and then 8. So if I multiply, I get 0.04 as a result, and again, that number makes sense.